building is close it out in game four. Yeah, you know, and again, we've been saying this the whole time, the team's not just going to lay down for us. Uh, the building's going to be energized, the group's going to be ready to play, and, and so we have to make sure that we come out and we play the right way. And just like I'm sure they were, we, we weren't happy with everything that we did on the floor last night, but uh, we did do some good things, and hopefully we can do even better things tomorrow night. All right, KD, uh, probably a reason you brought him here like last night, 19 point third quarter and uh, 33 came in when a lot of guys were off last night. Yeah, he had a phenomenal <clears throat> third quarter, but what we liked more than anything else is, you know, he came down and he scored in the pick and roll some, but his movement off the ball, when he gave it up a couple of times, and he made the right cuts and he, sometimes he'd go screen away and then he'd slip. It was phenomenal basketball. We talked to him about that today. And, Last night we felt was one of his his better games of moving without the basketball, even though he scored a lot with the ball in his hands. Mike, you said before the series that Patty Mills, you know, taking his motor away, he's being an energizer bunny, was going to be a critical priority. And the Clay's chasing him off the three point line and really hounded him. How have you seen that defensive effort really just stifle what that backcourt can produce? Well, you know, we said it a couple of times already. It, you know, they they were 40 and four when Patty scored over 10 points during the regular season and. He had a huge impact, we thought, in the Houston series. And so, you know, we had a, we wanted to make sure it was a point of emphasis for us to, to try to make his life as tough as possible and not give him any clean, open looks. And he's had a few, and when he has, he's knocked them down. But you got to give Clay credit first and then the rest of our team credit after that because they've helped out in a lot of different situations. But we're asking Clay to, to chase and dog a guy like that that constantly moves. It takes a lot out of you on both ends of the floor to have to have that type of assignment. But Clay's taking on the challenge, and he's doing a fantastic job with it. And he was able to do that last night and still produce offensively. Kind of how have you seen him? How did you see him get into that rhythm? But, you know, he's probably been missing a little bit there earlier in the series. Yeah, but, you know, he, we're not ever worried about Clay shooting. We, we know that he's a great shooter, if not the best in the world. He's one of the best in the world. And, and from time to time, guys miss. And, we felt he was getting good looks and he was just missing. And you, know, you can't leave him open for long because when you do, uh, he'll definitely make you pay. And we thought that he was terrific in making shots last night, but he's been great the whole playoffs at driving and kicking the basketball. He was fantastic against Utah, especially getting into the teeth of the defense, making plays for others. And even last night, he made some great driving kicks Mike, that got other guys going. What went into the decision to keep Steph in with three fouls? Uh, just a matter of knowing that uh, you know I can trust a guy like that. We've done it before, and you know, we trusted certain guys on the team in certain situations. And so I just I just felt like you know I took him out four minutes ago in the, in the I think in the first because he had pick, picked up his second and and I didn't want to break his rhythm that bad. You, you know you got a player like Steph and yeah he's more than capable of going crazy at any time offensively, but. I felt like to take him out at that point would disrupt the rhythm, not only for him individually, but, but for the team too. So uh, I trust him, and uh, he came through. In your mind, has he been the same player in these, this postseason that he was in the past two years when he won MVP? I think so. I think he's playing at a, an extremely high level. I mean, you, I don't know what his numbers are exactly. I, I know they're very, very good. They're probably close to being at a historical, historical level right now. Uh, but he, he's doing a lot of things that are really good for us uh, besides scoring and shooting the basketball. I mean, defensively, he was fan. I just told him, hey, on the weak side of the floor last night, you were fantastic. Not, not good, but he was fantastic. He read some plays on the weak side of the floor where he came up with some steals and or some deflections that were instrumental in us breaking out the other way. His rebounding, I mean, he's gotten the mix and come up with some big rebounds for us and hadn't turned the ball over. He's... He's done a nice job setting his teammates up, so his all-around game has been, in my opinion, phenomenal. Mike, how do you think what Andre did and was doing, especially defensively? Uh, I, I thought he did okay. You know, he, he'd been out for a couple of games, and, and we haven't really practiced him. So, uh, you know, in terms of scrimmaging and stuff like that. So I think last night might have been a, one of his first times having contact. And, so it was more or less, I think, a, a rhythm thing for him. And I think going forward, you know, the more he's out on the floor, that's the more he'll get his rhythm back. When you're your coaching career, have you ever had, you had a center spot you can enjoy like this one with all these different guys? 
my coaching career, I've never had anything like this. <laughs> Center, forward, small forward, two guard, shooting guard. <laughs> No. <laughs> I was the setter. Oh, the setter. Okay. Last question, then we're going to get No, you know, it, it, the interesting part about it is they're all different. I and mean, when you talk about the four guys that we play at the center position, uh, it, it makes it easy on us to be able to figure out how to attack different matchups, not only offensively, but defensively, too, because they each bring something different to the table. So it's a luxury that we have. Uh, as a staff, as a team, but more importantly, I think our guys individually feel great about being able to contribute in different ways based on what their skill set is. Is there a Zaza update? Uh, no Zaza update. Still the same.